hello friends welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to make a circular pattern and I am going to use yarn of two colors for this project and a hook of 2.5 mm so we are going to begin with yarn of color A and with slip knot now we have to do chain 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 we have to go back to the first chain insert the hook in yarn over pull through both the loops as a slip stitch chain 1 2 3 which counts as a double crochet insert the hook into the ring pull through pull through 2 pull through 2 double crochet 2 3 4 we have to do 24 double crochet into the ring so complete the round and we will meet again when this round would be completed when we have completed doing 24 double crochet into the ring we have to join the stitches on the top of the first stitch with slip stitch now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to continue with yarn of color b from the next round so we have to begin with slip knot now we have to join the yarn on the top of the four stitch with slip stitch chain one two three which counts as a double crochet on the top of the same stitch double crochet two chain two for chain space skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch double crochet one into the same stitch double crochet 2 chain 2 for chain space skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 into the same stitch double crochet 2 so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round will be completed when the round is complete we have to do chain 2 now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch now on the top of the four stitch chain one two three which counts as a double crochet on the top of the same stitch double crochet two on the top of the next stitch double crochet one into the same stitch double crochet two chain two for chain space on the top of the next set double crochet 1 into the same stitch double crochet 2 on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 into the same stitch double crochet 2 chain 2 for chain space so on the top of each set of 2 we have to do a cluster of 4 with chain space of 2 in between them complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed after the end of the round, we join the stitches on the top of the 4 stitch with slip stitch. Now on the top of the 4 stitch, chain 3 which counts as a double crochet into the same stitch, double crochet 2. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1, 1 double crochet on the top of the next stitch. On the top of the last stitch of the cluster, double crochet 1 into the same stitch double crochet 2 chain 2 for chain space so on the top of each cluster of 4 we have to do a cluster of 6 across the round and there should be chain space of 2 in between each cluster complete the round and we will meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we join the stitches on the top of the 4 stitch with slip stitch now on the top of the 4 stitch chain 3 which counts as a double crochet on the top of the same stitch double crochet 2 on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 on the top of the next stitch 1 double crochet 1 double crochet on the top of the next stitch 1 double crochet on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 on the top of the next stitch into the same stitch double crochet 2 
chain 2 for chain space. So on the top of each cluster of 6, we have to do our cluster of 8. So complete this round and 2 more rounds following the same pattern and we will meet again when 3 rounds would be completed. When we have completed 3 rounds following the same pattern by doing 8 double crochet on the top of each cluster of 8 with chain space of 2 in between them, we have to join the stitches on the top of the 4 stitch with slip stitch. So chain 1, 2, 3 which counts as a double crochet. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1. Do not close the stitch. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1. Do not close the stitch. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1. Now there are 4 loops on the hook. Pull through all the 4. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for chain space. Yarn over. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1. Do not close the stitch. Double crochet 2. On the top of the next stitch, 3. On the top of the next stitch, do not close the stitch. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 4. Now there are 5 loops on the hook. Pull through all the 5. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4 for chain space. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1. Do not close the stitch. Double crochet 2 on the top of the next stitch, 3 on the top of the next stitch, 4. Now there are 5 loops on the hook, pull through all the 5, chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for chain space. Again, on the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1, do not close the stitch, double crochet 2 on the top of the next stitch, do not close the stitch. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 3. Do not close the stitch. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 4. Now there are 5 loops on the hook. Pull through all the 5. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4 for chain space. So complete the round following the same pattern. And we will meet again when this round would be completed. When the round is complete, we join the stitches on the top of the 4th stitch with slip stitch. Now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to continue with yarn of color A from the next round. So we have to join the yarn on the top of the first petal with slip stitch. Chain 2 which counts as a half double crochet into the chain space of 6. Half double crochet 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4 for chain space. Into the next chain space of 6, we have to do 12 half double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4 for chain space. Complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When the round is complete, we join the stitches on the top of the 4th stitch with slip stitch. Now chain 1, 2, 3 on the top of the 4th stitch. Into the same stitch. Double crochet 2. Do not close the stitch. Double crochet 3. Now there are 3 loops on the hook. Pull through all the 3. Chain 2 for chain space. Skip a stitch. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1, do not close the stitch, 2, do not close the stitch, 3. Now there are 4 loops on the hook, pull through all the 4, chain 2 for chain space. Skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1, do not close the stitch, 2, do not close the stitch, 3, 
Now there are four loops on the hook, pull through all the four, chain two for chain space. Skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch, double crochet barn, do not close the stitch, two, do not close the stitch, three, now there are four loops on the hook, pull through all the four, chain two for chain space. Skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch, double crochet one, do not close the stitch, double crochet two, do not close the stitch, three, do not close the stitch, pull through all the loops, chain two for chain space. Skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch, double crochet one, do not close the stitch, double crochet two, do not close the stitch, double crochet three. Now there are four loops on the hook, pull through all the four. Now we are not going to do any chains in between, we have to come to the next cluster, double crochet one, double crochet two, do not close the stitches, double crochet three. Now pull through all the loops, chain two for chain space. Skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch. We have to do one petal, chain two for chain space. Skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch, one petal with three double crochet. Now pull through all the loops, chain two for chain space. So complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When the round is complete, we join the stitches on the top of the 4 stitch with slip stitch. Now we have to come to this chain space of 2 with slip stitch. Chain 2 which counts as a half double crochet, half double crochet 2, 3, Into the next chain space of two, half double crochet one, two, and three. Into the next chain space of two, half double crochet one, two, and three. Into the next chain space of two, half double crochet one, two, and three. Into the next chain space of two, half double crochet one, two, and 3. Join these stitches in between these two petals with single crochet. Yarn over into the next chain space of 2, half double crochet 1, 2 and 3. So complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this edging across the round would be completed. This beautiful placemat doily is going to look like this when it will be completed. You can use this pattern also as a pot holder, mug mat or even as a cup coaster too. Thank you so much.